Welcome to another figure hunt. This time we're going to be going to Big Lots. Um, we're starting out with some Lego Star Wars stuff. Now, I know Lego runs a decent, decently high price, but I'm, I'm telling you, 15 bucks for this, that is, uh, that's, that feels high to me, and then 10 bucks for something like this. You guys, let me know, and if you collect Lego stuff, let me know, is this high for these, or is this, like, normal retail price? I could see 20 maybe for this. It's a little bigger, but these others are, like, pocket-sized play sets. I got some Hot Wheels. Uh, when I was younger, I used to collect a lot of Monster Truck stuff. I was a Grave Digger fan. Like a knockoff G.I. Joe. This one's pretty cool. These are like die cast metal. They're super heavy. I've got like one of these, I think. But this one's just like a really interesting design. You can tell they really brand these out for kids, especially with the trucks now. They got Spider Man and uh, Batman and the Zombie. For me, always was Maximum Destruction and Grave Digger. Those were the guys. Very, very minimum amount of wrestling stuff. Just two EO Shirai's. Some Fortnite stuff. Um, see, another G.I. Joe style figure. Some Jurassic World stuff. And not really anything I'm interested in here at all. Well, I was about to say this was going to be a big bust, but then I saw this display, and what even is that face? I have no idea what expression that is. I always think the Halloween stuff at these places is just really weird and kooky, and this place is uh, definitely on par with that. They've, they've got some odd stuff. I mean, some things are like typical Halloween de decorations and whatnot, but then they got this thing. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> that's just not right, you people coming by my house. I don't need nobody around here. There's my neighbor. I'm, ju I'm just kidding, of course, but that's chainsaw. <laughs> I've worked a lot of haunted trails and stuff when I was younger, and this stuff was never in there. And a little peekaboo baby. I always find this uh, this little stuff interesting. I figured since Big Lots was a bust, we could go on to Walmart and check out what they got, and it doesn't look like they have too much. They've got a decent selection for stuff, though. But it's the same battle packs, uh, same retro series. They got a lot of Ric Flair, Honky Tonk Man, and Bray Wyatt. No Hogan still, doesn't seem. Uh, Jeff Hardy. It's a good Rey Mysterio. I do collect a lot of Rey Mysterio stuff, but I don't know if I need this one. It's nice to see this set actually hitting the stores, though, finally. I need the flair from it. And there is a plethora of Brody Lee figures. A decent selection of AEW stuff, and I don't often see a lot of Brody Lee's, but they are very well stocked with Brody Lee figures. Some He Man. Just a variety of stuff. Marvel Legends. I, I did get a glimpse of these, they're on sale too. And they are not nearly as damaged, uh, some of them not damaged at all, as the last Walmart I was at. The main one I want out of this, or the main two, is uh, Groot and Chris Pratt from the Thor 11 and Thunder series. I only collect movie uh, Marvel Legends. Uh, speaking of Star-Lord, there's Chris Pratt Star-Lord right here. I'm just a big Chris Pratt fan. Loved him in Parks and Rec, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, a Jurassic World. Yeah, he's just a great actor. I really enjoyed his work. I'm definitely gonna pick this up. Let's see, they're pretty well stocked. Well, I've decided I'm definitely definitely leaving with the Star Lord Marvel Legends figure, but I decided I'd look around a little bit more. 
I saw on the last video a few comments from you guys saying what you collected. So I'm just going through to see if anything catches your eye that you'd like to comment about and let me know or inform me about. I always love learning new stuff about figure collecting and I hope that I can teach you something as well. There's the same Star Wars set as we've seen before. It looks like they're doing a markdown on certain things, but I'm not a huge Star Wars collector unless it comes to the original stuff and Han Solo. I'm, I'm more into the vintage Star Wars than the newer products. A lot of Pokemon there, and again, I don't know much about Pokemon. I know it's a, a big popular thing, but me personally, I never really got into it as much as I, as as much as most people would have expected. Um, a lot of Buzz Lightyear stuff. I still have not seen the new movie. I'm wondering if it's good. Transformers. They've always intrigued me. I've always been intrigued by Transformers, but I've never pulled the trigger on a purchase some Power Rangers. Again, this is the same thing. I loved the Power Rangers when I was little, but I've never pulled the trigger on a big purchase like this. I don't know if I want to start another collection. And then the same G.I. Joe I've seen. Literally every Walmart has these. And a lot of Jurassic World stuff. Overall, a really good selection at this Walmart. Well, I picked up the Star-Lord figure, but he's going to stay in box. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you again for watching.